developer interviews. Go ahead and introduce yourself and what you do. Hello, my name is Michael Vogt and I work on Software Center as a developer. And I'm Matthew Thomas. I work for Canonical on design of various things, uh, including a bunch of stuff. Okay, so you guys are going to give us a little tour of ratings and review in the Software Center. Can you kind of explain how we got to this point and what it's going to be, and then we'll kind of just give us a little tour of what you're working on? So, um, so we really want to have ratings and reviews in Software Center because it's it's, it's a really cool feature, mm -hmm. um, and this basically has two parts: the, the server part that stores the the reviews and the ratings and provides an API for it, and the client that will talk to the server, fetch fetch reviews, um, and this is what we are currently working on. So we. One team is working on the server, and another team is working on the client implementation to make it to make Software Center actually display all this stuff. Okay, show us. Oh, okay, <laughs> right. So this is the branch of Software Center that implements ratings and reviews. And if you click on a category, you will see that some of the applications uh, now have reviews. Um, this is. Uh, this is a real server, but it's it's a it's a testing server. So some of the some of the review text may test that. Yeah, yeah, it's test data. So some of the review text is not actually that useful. Um, so as you can see here, um, we actually have all the stuff that you would expect. Like you know, we have star ratings, we have review text, we have people who actually do it. And we provide a way to say this review is inappropriate because, for example, it's a bug report. We don't want to have bug reports in reviews, um, or if it's if it's using a language that is not appropriate by the Ubuntu Code of Conduct, um, and and it's it's easy to to review, like you know, to report an, an issue, um, it's just like this, or. It's also very, oh, <laughs> and, and it's gone. This is a miss feature. Anyway, and it's easy to to re re review a new application. So it, it will tell you who did it. So it, there, there is no anon anonymous review. It will always be tied to a person. Um, you write your text, you write your summary, and then you can, you can give it a rating. And there is some text that will actually explain what we, you know, what we expect. Yeah. Send it off and wait a little bit. And in the final version, it will just work beautifully. <laughs> so it's a, a server error, is it? It's a server error. Yeah. Um, Matthew, you probably want to say something as well, right? Well, this is obviously not the the final layer. We need to do a lot of tweaking and. And polishing of the of the layout and, and the, um, the graphics, but um, it's looking pretty good as a as a prototype, as a, a first version. I'm looking forward to seeing it in action. I have a few questions for you guys. Sure. So one thing I really love to do um, is when I have a favorite application, I like to share it with my friends, like George mm -hmm. Five Star Abbey Word or something. Like. Can you talk about some of the social features, maybe these are obviously for Natty plus one and mm -hmm. in the future, but can you kind of talk about how to, we can make this more personal and what about integration with the launcher and, and stuff like that? I'd love to be able to just like drag an app right into the launcher or something. <laughs> well, we've, to answer your second question first, we've, we've just been uh, having discussions about how to make it easy to, to get the application into the launcher okay. and come up with various alternatives for that. Uh, as for sharing your, your feedback on an application and sharing uh, your opinion about an application, uh, one of the things that I've um, designed for, maybe not for, um, for Natty, maybe for the next version, is uh, tweeting your review so that at the same time as you post your review, you can just check a checkbox and say, yes, I want to post this to my identity account or my Twitter account or even to Facebook. And then when anyone else sees that review you've done, they see the number of stars, they see the, the beginning of the review, they can uh, follow a link and that will take them into Ubuntu Surface Center if they're running Ubuntu or onto a web page if they're not. And they can see the, the review in context. 
Great. And if people were to help, where can they find you guys? How can people start to contribute? What do you need help with? Lots and lots of things. Whether you're a, a packaging expert, a, a Python developer, a GDK expert, a tester, a, um, an artist, designer, a librarian, uh, whatever your expertise, there is something we have for you to do. Um, so uh, find us on the uh, Ubuntu desktop mailing list uh, or the Ubuntu desktop IRC channel on Freedom. Okay, thanks. Say goodbye.